Hey guys, Crystal here at Crystal's Crafties. In today's tutorial, I want to show you how to design your own pin wraps in a program called Canva. Um, this is a free program, but unlike most of my other videos where I show you how to use Inkscape, this is an online program. Um, Canva is completely web-based. You just log in, you set up a free account, log in, and you design you know, whatever it is that you're wanting to design. So let's jump right in. So uh, you can click the link in the video description or you can just go to canva.com and you're going to get to this home page. It will ask you to create an account, but it's free, so don't worry about that. Once you get here, you're going to come to create a design. And there's, you know, a ton of things that you could choose from. But what I want you to type up here in the search is letter. So just come get a standard sized piece of paper, eight and a half by 11 letter. I'm going to delete this because I've already got this one started. Now, it's important that you get this size paper because, for one, this is what your printer is going to print on, and for two, it will help you size these things perfectly. I'm going to get rid of this pen that was just there so you all can see basically what we're doing. So each pen wrap is roughly four and a half inches, I'm sorry, 4.75 inches um, horizontally and one and a half inches vertically. That's just a standard size. Like if you're buying these files from like Etsy or something, that's probably the size you're going to be getting for your designs. Since you are custom making these, you can measure your pens and see exactly what you want them to be. Um, but for this, for this tutorial, we're going to make them 4.75 by 1.5. Okay, so you can see I've already got these three up here, but I'm going to start on a new page from scratch and show you exactly how we want to do it. Okay, so what you need to make these are digital paper. Um, let me show you. So here were some of the ones that I had uploaded to make that little sample for you, but let me show you how to get digital paper into Canva so that you can make your projects. You can go anywhere you want to get your digital paper. Um, you know, I know there's lots and lots of online sources for you to get it. I love Creative Fabrica, so that's where I'm going to show you. And the designs we're going to make together today are going to be some sunflower designs. So I just typed in sunflower digital paper. And you can see there are lots and lots of packs of sunflower paper. But uh, this designer right here, Digital Curio, she has probably some of the best designs around. And I have actually already downloaded, I want to get the paper, not her profile, but she has tons of great stuff. Um, I have actually already downloaded this pack of papers. But you can see what all is going to come in here. You've got the honeycomb texture, you've got the foil look, and you've got some glitter. You've got amazing graphics. I mean, her stuff is just fabulous. And you're going to get all of these papers um, in one download. So you would come click download if this is the pack you wanted or whatever pack you wanted. Just download it to your computer and save it wherever you will be able to find it easily. I save all of my papers to a, a digital paper folder on my desktop. So go pick your paper, whatever you want to get, I will link to this specific paper, but you know, you're making your own pen, so you get what you want. Download it to your computer, and then come back over here to the um, design you have started in Canva, to your blank letter-sized paper, and you want to click Upload Media. And if you've saved it on your computer, you're going to click Device. And let's see here, get to my desktop. And here is my sunflower paper. Okay, what do I want to start with first? These are all great. I'm going to right click right here. If you have a, a Windows PC, you can do this. I'm going to make these a little bit bigger so that we can really see what we're looking at here. All right. Let's start with this blue one up here. Where'd it go? This one. This one's going to be good. So I've clicked it, and I'm just going to click open. 
and it's going to pull it into my project. Let me get a couple more uploaded um, just so we're not having to go through this process each time. So we did the blue one. Oh, I like this one too. So while I've got that one highlighted, I'm going to go pick one more. Let me also do this one. So I've got this first one here. Where was it? I've got this one highlighted. And I'm going to scroll down. I'm going to hit Control. I'm going to highlight this one as well. And then open, and it'll put both of those in there for me. Okay, so now I have three sunflower papers. I'm going to use these three to make several different pin wrap templates. So we're just going to click the first one. And all you do is you drag these handles. We want this one to be 1.5. So do you see down there how it went to 1.5 on the right hand side? Okay, now we're going to take this one and we're going to make this 4.8. They don't do, we want it 4.75, but we can't get exactly there. We can get 4.7 or we can get 4.8. So let's go with the bigger 4.8. That pin wrap is done. Okay, let's get this one. Do the same thing. 1.5, 4.8, that pin wrap is done. This one. I really want to make sure that I'm getting these sunflowers in. So I'm going to do this one just a little bit differently. I'm going to come in from the side, and I'm going to do 1.5 over here from the side. So you see that my first number is what I changed to 1.5. And the second number is what I'm going to put at 4.8. Oh, come here, 4.8. That one's being a little difficult. Okay. And then I've got this rotate key right here. I'm just going to rotate it to 90 degrees and I've got my pattern there. So that's your easy, simple way to get these designs. But I want to show you how to manipulate this paper so that you can customize your design. So I've made this a lot bigger. Now let's say I don't want any of those flowers in there. I just want the honeycomb. So I'm going to pull from here and get rid of the flowers and then pull from here and get it to whatever size I want. I'm going to make this the 1.5. And then I can go from the top and get my 4.8. There it is. And I can get my rotate handle and rotate that guy. Ah, he's not exactly 90 degrees. There we go. Okay. Um, let's do the same with this one. Let's make it really big and concentrate on big flowers. So I'm going to start from up here. Now I can bring my paper into view. Get this to 1.5. Come on. Whoop. I really wish there was a way you could type this in, but there is not. Well, that's not going to get there just yet. We'll work on it. Put this to 4.8. Okay, let me pull this down. Let me see if I can get that to 1.5. There it is. So this is the same paper. This paper and this paper are exactly the same. I've just changed where I've put the design. And do the same thing here. Okay, I'm going to go in a different way on this one. I'm going to come in from the sides here, make this my 1.5, make this my 4.8, and rotate it. It's that easy. Really, really, really that simple. Then what you want to do is just kind of arrange these. Once you get one, they should kind of snap into place. And I'm using my arrow keys just to put a little space in between them because you do want to be able to cut in between each one and get it perfectly on your paper. Okay. So what I want to do now um, is kind of drag a box around all of that so every bit of it is highlighted. And if you come over here to position, 
you can space evenly. We want to space evenly um, vertically. We're going up and down. Okay, so now the space between each design is perfectly even. So that we don't waste a page, let's go ahead and put a couple more over here. So let's get, I don't know, maybe some more of this one. Let's see here. I think I'm going to leave it just like that. I'm going to pull this in to four point. No, I'm going to put this to 1.5. And this to 4.8. Okay. So we've got that one there. And yeah, we can just duplicate a few of these just so that we're using up all of our room on our paper. We don't want to waste any of our paper, whatever you're designing on, whether this, whether you're doing sublimation paper, whether you're doing water slide. Um, printable vinyl, sticker paper, whatever it is that you are printing your designs onto so that you can get them onto your pens. Um, I think that's probably all we're going to be able to fit on here. Let me... Well, you know what? Maybe we can do a couple more. I'm going to scooch, scooch. I'm using my arrows to scooch in. Let me duplicate this one. This one's pretty. To duplicate, I'm just hitting Control D. And rotate that perfectly, get that over here. Okay, so this guy I'm going to scooch in with my arrows. This guy I'm going to scooch out just a smidge. Okay, so what do you have? Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten pin wraps on one sheet of paper. And it's really that easy to design them. If you want to personalize these guys by putting names or something, just while you have your cursor on your paper, click the T on your keyboard and it's going to pull up a text box. Don't come over here and hit text. It's going to give you um, different font pairings and that, that's not what we're trying to do. Click the T on your keyboard and then you can double click in here and type in some text. So I've got my name. You can come up here and you can pick a font. And then you can size this guy wherever you want him to be. Let's see. Let me stick it on this one here. That's a little too big. You want to make sure that whatever word you have is not overlapping your pen design. This is kind of small and hard to see what you're doing. Look at this slider down here. I'm making my paper bigger. So now I can see exactly where my name is going on this pin wrap. It's not overlapping. And I can change the color of it. If you come to this color box here, um, we can pretty much anything. If you want to completely customize a color, you can just come click in here and start moving it around to customize whatever color you want it to be. Um, let's see. Let's make this more of a goldish color, though. That's going to be good. Okay, so that's there. Um, if you want to put maybe like be kind or something, let's see. So I'm going to just type a T on my computer, and here's my text box again. This one's big because I zoomed in on my screen. Um, so I clicked backspace to get rid of the text that was already in there, and then I'm going to type be kind. Let's come put that on this one down here and you just adjust it with your, you know, your little handles here. You can also come and adjust your font size right there if you want. It does not matter. Let's make this one white. Let's see how white looks. Not great, but you can do some text effects on here. Watch this. You've got effects. I can add a shadow behind it, and I can change the color of my shadow maybe to black to make it a little more noticeable um, and then the transparency of that shadow I'd want to bring up so that we can really really see that. Now it's a little more legible on there or if I didn't want to do that I could take the effect off and come to none and I could just change the color of my font here to something that's going to be easier to see so let's see here. Here's my color box up here let me pick a pink that's not easy to see either. 
red, super easy to see, but um, not very pretty. I'm going to go back to the white. I'm going to come back to my effects. And there's different things. This is a lift, and this is kind of like a hollowed out look. This is neon. But I'm going to go back to that lift, and I'm going to do exactly what I did before. I'm sorry, I'm going to go back to shadow and do what I did before. I'm going to change the color of my shadow to black. And then I'm going to change the transparency of that to like a, a really high transparency. And I can change the direction of this shadow too. Like I can move it up, down. Are y'all seeing how that's moving? I can change the offset from left to right. I like that one better. Okay. All right. I think we're good there. So I'm going to click out of that. I'm going to make my page smaller again so we can see all of the page. There it is. Okay. So we have just customized these pin wraps. All you do now is download this file. This is your download folder. And it's going to be, um, make sure you come in here. This is a PDF. We don't, it says suggested, but I promise you don't want a PDF for this. You can download it as a JPEG, um, but you're going to get that white background, which isn't really going to matter because, you know, whatever you're printing on printers don't typically print white. Or if you want, you can download as a high quality PNG. And you can click transparent background just in case, you know, you are printing on some kind of paper that you need to make sure that background is transparent, especially if you're printing on like a clear printable vinyl come in and make sure your background is transparent. Click download. It named it crystal because that was the first word I typed on here, but you could have named this anything that you wanted to. Wait for that to download. Okay. And then I will go find it. It's in my download folder over here. Let me open it. There it is. So you would just send this straight to your printer. It is already perfectly sized. It's going to fit a, a regular standard size piece of printer paper. And each one of these designs is perfectly sized for your pen to wrap your pen in whatever form or whatever um, method you choose to wrap it in. So you could print this onto sublimation paper and you could sublimate the pens. You could print this onto water slide and you could do water slide on top of your um, epoxy pens. You could do sticker paper, clear printable vinyl, whatever you want to use to get these designs onto your pen. This is how you create your own designs for free. All right, we'll see you next time.